Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm bringing you an A Gold try on. It's been a year or two since I did one, but since this is one of my most favorite sustainable brands, where actually most of my denims are from, I thought I would do an updated one. We have denim trousers, we have cargo trousers. I have wonderful pieces to show you, so if you're not subscribed already, please remember to do so, and let's get into this week's video. So kicking it off with a stunning pair of their denim jeans. These are called the Lana Jean, and it's mid-rise, vintage, straight, made out of organic denim, meaning the cotton used for the making of this jean is organically grown with no synthetic fertilizers, harmful pesticides, or GMOs. And I touch upon this in most of my videos, but what you're putting on your body is so, so important. Putting plastics like acrylic, polyester, it seeps into your bloodstream and causes havoc. There is so much data out there right now about women that wear polyester um, underwear and the surging cancer within those women that do. So please, please be conscious when you're buying. Spend that little bit more for the quality. But anyway, these are safe jeans to put on. Organic denim. I have these in a size 27, which is my true to size. These are 100% cotton. So there is no elastine, there is no stretch in these, so bear that in mind. So I feel like you need to size up uh, when, it, when there isn't any elastane because you need a bit of movement for space. So mine's 27 and they fit me. Like with every jean, um, I need to get my waist pulled in, but that is me on a size 26 inch waist and a 35 inch hip. So the ratio is slightly distant from each other. So it fits well around my bottom, but obviously I need it pulled in around my waist. The colour is called Riptide. I think one of my other jeans is called Riptide. I absolutely love this shade of denim. I think it's perfect for spring, summer months. It's lighter. It's one clean piece of denim. You can see there's slight markings there, but obviously this is an area it naturally creases up on your body. But I love how plain and chic this is. And this is a jean that you could wear day to night, and I love that. Simple pockets on the back, a gold pockets always so flattering on the bottom. You do have the classic like buttoned up closure at the front, which at the beginning when I had my first pair, I thought was gonna be annoying, but it actually is absolutely fine. You don't have to worry about any zips breaking. Um, you do have a little bit of distress detail in here around the pockets, but it's ever so slight. And then it's a beautiful straight leg, as you can see on me. Again, with very slight, it's very, very slight distressed detailing, which I love. I've got mine on with a black t-shirt and black heels. This is something I would wear like on a summer's evening out to something that's not too formal, but not too casual. I absolutely love these. The next pair isn't actually a denim from A Gold. I'm used to just trying on denims. I've never tried on any other of their trousers but I wanted to because I've seen quite a few and since these are currently in trend, I used to wear these when I was a kid and I absolutely love them. So if I find a lovely pair, I would love to hang on to a pair of these. But I'll start with the color of these because I just thought this was so fabulous. It's a stony sort of khaki, which is very, very chic. I love it. It will go with a lot of neutral colors, white, black, even other shades of like brown and khaki. It's called the Geneva Cargo Pan, and the color is drab, and I have it in a size small. Now, I feel these are slightly too big for me, which is strange, because with a gold, I feel like I need to size up slightly. I'm usually a size 26 inch waist. That's with like elastane, but um, I, I tend to sort of pick up more 27 with Agon. So I thought, get it in a small to be safe, but I actually feel like I could have got this in an extra small. These are extremely oversized. Of course, that's the look. The waist for me is too big, although it is a pull cord, as you can see. But even when I pull that all in, I still need it to be more secure. So I would need to size down. But beautiful trousers, light, comfortable. You have pockets absolutely everywhere, as you can see pockets on the bottom, and you've also got at the bottom on the ankle, a pull-in cord, so you could pull these in where you'd like them on your leg, which I really like. Again, I feel these are too big for me. I wanted to wear these a little bit higher up my leg, 
but they keep dropping down. But I still like that scrunch look at the bottom, as you can see on me. So I'm wearing this just with a simple crop top, a pair of heels, and this is how I would like to wear it. Also, you could obviously wear this with trainers and a t-shirt. But they are so, so, so comfortable. So light, that's what's so wonderful with these. Next, we have another pair of denims. But these ones, I cannot get on. Even though they are in a size 27, like the rest of them, it just shows you with every style of jean, you need to work out your sizing. Even though I do have a Riley pair in a smaller size, but these don't fit. So I will only be able to show you the model wearing them not me, but at least you know that you need to definitely size up with this jean. So these are called the Riley High Straight Crop. Um, they're in shade Haven. I love these. I love the colour of denim. It's for me like the perfect shade. Again, simple denim, nothing going on, no rips, just slight distressing throughout, like the slightest not too much so it keeps the jean quite smart and a button-up closure like the first ones i showed you these like i mentioned are a crop jean but what i loved the most is the bottom of the jean so it's very distressed even though the rest of the jean isn't as distressed i loved this detail and this again with a pair of heels even with trainers it is just a beautiful look I love a distressed bottom of a jean, um, especially with heels, I think it's really beautiful. But unfortunately for me, I can't see what these look like. But if I need to size up, which of course I do, then of course the waist will have to come in with me. But again, that's just a me thing. Let me know if any of you have that problem too. Is it just me? Um, but I will be getting these in a 28 in my next try on and we'll be able to see them then. The two pieces I have on now are the next ones I want to talk about. So these are called the Lana Straight Leg in drum, kind of drum, and I have them in a 27 and they fit me. They're a beautiful jean, they are a beautiful colour, I absolutely love them. They are too big for me at the waist, I would need to get them taken in, as always, but the jean is just stunning. Um, the high waist on it is perfect. The straight leg, the length I'm five foot seven with a pair of heels, these are perfect, no tailoring. Of course, if I wanted to wear these more with flat shoes, I would need to take them up but slightly, but they are just a beautiful jean. They are 100% cotton, so you haven't got that stretch, but they've given enough room in them to move and feel comfortable. So I'm sold on these, I love these. And the top is called the Domeo top, and it's in color ruffle or duffel. I think it's duffel, I'll link it below. And I saw it and I really liked it and I thought it'd be lovely to wear with um, the pieces for the try on, but they didn't have my size. So I actually have this on in a large, which is insane to me because I thought I was kidding myself on, but it shows you, just try. So I put this in my bag and actually it looks okay. I think you can see that it's too big for me. I have um, a bra on underneath. Um, it does fall slightly, but this is a very, fitted top so just bear that in mind it goes down to your hips i have it tucked in but it does go down to your hips and as you can see it's this beautiful one shoulder with this tie knot in the middle lots of ruching on the side as you can see but just a beautiful earthy khaki top that looks wonderful with a pair of Avril jeans of course but it is a top you could dress up dress down and just has something about it. So I really love this top. I'll link it below. Next, we are back to denim. These are the famous 90s pinch waist in high rise straight, again, organic denim. Oh, these are actually a 26. Okay, so that would be the reason that they don't fit me. These, I can't get on, so I can't show you. Of course, if I can't get some of the 27s on, then I'm not gonna get 26 on. Although one of my pairs, I'm sure is a 26. Who knows, that's why we need these videos, don't we? Um, so the shade is Soundwave, and yeah, there are 26. They have, again, the buttoning up at the closure, classic. You have that beautiful pinch waist. That is what these jeans are so famous for, and then the jean gets bigger and a bit looser around the rest of the leg. This is, again, in this lighter shade of denim, perfect for the months ahead. 
and again it's got this distressed bottom not too much but just enough and i wish i could have got them on i wish i could have got them on to show you the pockets again at the back simple flattering all a gold jeans make your bottom look wonderful lifted pert they do such a lovely job at the back again i'll pop the model wearing these jeans so you can see sort of what they look like i would probably say stitch your size on these because i have tried these in a 27 before and they do fit me so with these stick true to your size last up another cargo pant different to the one i showed you before but i really liked this one and i wanted to try it on because this although you wouldn't really say a cargo pant was elegant or chic but i feel like this one kind of is for a cargo pant if you could say that so the reason i'm saying that is that firstly these are cropped they come in beautifully at the waist and they have so much room in the leg and I just think that that sort of tailoring and cut is very chic. It just looks wonderful with a pair of sandals and I've got it with a racer back top, one of your favourite tan bags. It's just a really chic look for being able to wear cargo. The ones I've had on before I feel are more younger, they're a bit more cooler. You could even say sexier because you wear them with crops. This one is definitely more chic and elegant. So this one is called the Daria Utility Pant. The colour is duffel and I have it in a size 27. It fits me. I think I could try the 26 but I do like the room I have throughout my leg and I like the amount of volume at the bottom of the crop but I will try both to be sure. Um, so you have a simple button and then this one has a zip closure. You have your classic cargo pockets, you have your ones there, you have the classic ones at the back. I love these kinds of ones. This trouser actually looks a lot like the one I used to rock when I was 16, only it was full length, but very, very similar. You also have some pockets here, just above the knee, on both sides, and that's it. So this one actually doesn't have a ton of pockets, again, which makes the trouser a little bit more elegant. And then, of course, you can see the crop. It's a nice, big, open leg at the bottom, giving you a bit of movement in the trouser, which is really beautiful. But yeah, I wasn't sure about cargoes. Like, I didn't think I'd want cargoes in my wardrobe. I didn't think it was my style. But these have switched it for me. I actually really like these. And I think I could get a lot of use out of them. Not to mention how light and comfortable they are. Like, summer months in London, when I have things to do or I want to be a bit more comfortable, these are these are the trousers that I will be grabbing. We have come to the end of this week's try-on. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know if you enjoy the eight gold try-ons. Tell me if there's any pieces that you particularly want to see. Like I said, I love this brand. This is a fantastic brand. It's a sustainable brand. You are purchasing and wearing real materials, real fibres, natural fibres, and that is very important when it comes to the clothes that you are picking, of course. But like I said, a fantastic brand and I can't wait to do another one. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. Please remember to give it a like if you enjoyed it, share it with your friends, and of course comment with anything that you'd like to share below. I'll link everything in the description box so you can shop yourself for it. And don't forget, I'm on Instagram, it's at Sandra, where you will see more sustainable fashion and ethical living. And those of you that are not subscribed, please remember to do so. And I will see you all in next week's video.